before we cast off our needles, we are going to do one more row of purl stitches. So make sure your working yarn is in the front. We're going to stab into the loop. Yarn over. Pull that loop under. Again, we're going to stab into the loop, wrap the yarn around the needle, pull that loop under, and pull the loop off the left needle. Stab under, wrap the yarn, pull through, and off the needle. Continue to purl stitch the whole row. After you finish the last stitch, lay it down so you can look at it. If you notice, the stitches look very similar, but when you turn it over, you can see a line right in the middle from where you started to do your purl stitches. Now we're ready to start casting off. We need to put this needle back in our left hand, and we're going to use the knit stitch to cast off. First, do two knit stitches, yarn over, pull it through, and off the needle. And again, now we're going to take the first loop on the right hand needle, and go under, and pull that loop over the second loop on the right hand needle. Just like that. And again, we're going to knit one more stitch. You always want two loops on your right hand needle before you pull one off. Now we're going to go to the back and pull that one over the front one and off of the needle. Again, we're going to knit one. Take the back loop, go over the front loop, and bring it off the needle. Continue to do this for the entire row. Knit one. Now pull the back loop over the loop in front and pull that loop off your needle. Continue to do this for the entire row until you have one loop left on your needle. Now we're coming up to the last of the row. We're going to bring this over and off. We're going to knit one more. Pull the back loop over and off the needle. Now we have one loop left on the needle. Just set that one aside. We're actually going to get our scissors and cut the string. Give a little bit of tail, but not a lot. Now, wrap the yarn around with your hand and using your fingers, pull that back loop over and on top and then down off your needle and take that string left and just pull it straight out. It'll make a small little knot at the end and you've cast it off.
here's a swatch I made earlier at the bottom I did the knit stitch after that I did a purl stitch and you can see that there is a line right in the middle it's kind of hard to see the line but it is right there after I did purl stitches I did one knit stitch and one purl stitch which ends up giving a great brim look you can see it's super stretchy perfect for beanies after that I used a knit stitch and a purl stitch but I did one row of knit stitches and then one row of purl stitches and then again another row of knit stitches it has the same kind of look on the back but every stitch is uniformed in the front after that I switched and did a purl row and then a knit row and it did the same effect just on the opposite side so there's lots of ways you can use the knit stitch and the purl stitch together. In the next section, we will be using the knit one, purl one.